The One Degree Shift, Discover the Simplicity of Lasting Change by Flora Sage. Introduction. Imagine this, you're 16 years old. You walk into the house after school to see your dad standing by the patio door holding a scotch and water with a very solemn look on his face. Scotch and water meant one of two things when it came to my dad. There was either a party or a problem. Let's just say that there was no balloons in sight. I knew everything was about to change. He looked away from me and said, kid, I'm sorry. She said it's either her or you. You've got to go. My stepmother wanted me out of the house permanently. She was never very fond of me or my sisters, and it was all the proof I needed in three scotch-stained sentences. The next half hour was a blur as I crammed everything I could in my 1989 Chevy Celebrity and drove to my best friend Jenny's house. She was waiting for me at the curb when I arrived. She hugged me until the tears stopped flowing. The last time we hugged like this was four years earlier at my mom's funeral. My mom died in a car accident, leaving my dad to father five girls on his own. We were 19, 18, 15, 13, and 12 at the time, and I was the baby of the family. A year and a half later, I was stepping into adolescence, missing my mom even more, and my dad was getting remarried. My stepmom had two daughters, which brought the grand total to seven daughters. And unfortunately, my new mom-to-be was more of a fan of the bottle than having five new daughters. Things quickly spiraled out of control. I found myself being the scapegoat for everything wrong in their marriage and everything wrong in the house. If my sisters didn't do their chores, I would be punished. When the house was a mess, I had to clean it up. Many of my nights were spent locked in my room without access to a bathroom or food, only for her not to remember any of it the next morning. I would come out of my room to empty my trash can of the bathroom waste from the night before, only to have her give me a chipper, good morning, over her morning coffee. Soon, I began partying and staying out as much as possible to avoid what was waiting for me at home. Once I turned 16, I bought a car and that gave me even greater access to parties, one night stands, and every avenue I could find to numb all that I was feeling or trying not to feel. Losing my mom was hard enough, but when my dad remarried, I felt like I'd lost him too. After moving out and into an apartment that I shared with one of my older sisters and two of her classmates, I started a full-time job and barely graduated high school with a GPA of 1.95. At 17 years old, I knew all I wanted was a way out, and my way out was the Marine Corps. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but anything was better than what I was stepping out from. I graduated boot camp on my 18th birthday, and I'd like to tell you that things have been roses ever since. But honestly, that's far from the truth. I spent the better part of my life being tossed about by the waves of uncertainty, being afraid of change and being frozen in a negative mindset and drowning in my own bullshit. And then one day, everything changed. I hit rock bottom and I decided that I was done living in a directionless life. I found a scrap of a vision and began resetting my habits. I confronted my bullshit, honed that vision, and began to shift my life all towards what I thought was possible. I changed everything, and I did it step by step, day by day, and one degree at a time. Now I'm living my dream. I live in a beautiful home. My kids are grown. They're healthy. My business is booming. My partner is incredible. I have a fabulous dog that keeps us entertained and I'm healthy and happy and revitalized. I've designed the life I've always wanted to live and created the days that are mostly stress-free. The One Degree Shift is a lifestyle that I continue to implement and it's the secret to my success my financial success, my relational success, my emotional success, and my spiritual success. And it can be yours too. The clarity, the confidence, and the courage that you need to change your life is well within your reach. I invite you to believe in the simplicity of lasting change. 
Your dream awaits. Your time is now.